Yeah, more people need to enter that too. As as last I saw, there was only like 15 people. We're doing a lot of like in-person times too. Okay. So, uh, Two, one, like, go. I think people just don't really know about the online times. Right? right. But anyway, here we go. K9 Sean Bruce versus Elegant, the, the SoCal Classic, the new classic. We've seen these guys play week in, week out. K9 definitely struggling to take the sets on these days. Elegant, I don't know, he's kind of had K9's number for a while. You guys played on Monday. Uh, two sets, which Elegant were able to win both. Uh, I don't know. He can't have the juice. He has to win two sets right now for losing bracket. He's definitely playing with a lot of fire right now. I, I can see it happen. He's done it before in the past in this matchup. Especially after Monday, I, I can imagine he's only going to play his heart out even more. Oh, nice catch though. Recover the retreat and bounce fish with the Cyclone. I like that Kena or Elegant hardly ever gets uh, mixed up on his DI from the throws. Like back throw, forward throw. He's always uh, DIing appropriately to where Kena can't get a guaranteed follow up. He's just gonna run in his face and grab him. I think that was actually a really strong option against Kena in neutral is because he kind of just like waits for you. He sees if he can face you out just by standing still. But uh, good catch there with the down smash. And you don't want to rush this stock because Elgin can get some ridiculous low percent damage, as you can yep. see. 41%. DI the way, not able to catch that. He's going to retreat immediately to the stage because if uh, Elgin caught that jump, he would have just cycled for free. Oh, this is a free punish. Hit him. Okay, down smash was the good option there. Only 41% deficit. Nothing at all. Uh, as long as he can get started, but Elegant not letting up. Uh, that's a free hit from Elegant. Oh my goodness, that was such a good chase. He actually followed Kanan's DI really well there. He just barely missed the cycle. Wow. wow! He just waited. Yeah, when you have a when you have high percent, you actually have even less ledge yeah. over ability, so you yeah. actually can't hold the stage that long. Elgin just sat there and said, okay, you actually don't have any more invincibility. You've been holding this ledge for too long. Eat the down smash. Gratis. Yeah, Kanan just wasn't prepared to attack that. And game one's gonna go to Elegant. Really strong display. Only has to win two more to close out another Wednesday night fight. Let's see if uh, Kanan can make this happen. He's gonna run it back to Smashville. Ooh, 19%, 29% Ooh, from a single grab. 51%. <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know, man. Elgin plays so oppressive, especially in the close quarters game. And that's where Kanai likes to fight with Sheik, especially in this matchup. It's just not safe. Like, you kind of have to just wall out Elgin and really just, like, bully him with the needles. Like, that's, like, the safest way to approach these guys, I feel. But Kanai's doing a good job of bringing this back. All right, up to that shield, should be up there, gets a cross up. Tries to get an extension with the, the balloon off the bouncing stage. That was actually super fancy. Okay, what's the play here? Nice, catch the neutral get up. Really late play, oh my wow. god, trading with the Cyclone. And Elegant will still make it back. Yep. Oh, that's just so rough. Can I overextending on stage again? And another bouncing fit, or another uh, Cyclone no. turn. All uh, right. So yeah. He gets the stock there with the vanish. Yeah, but that was still not. Uh, that wasn't a good. That wasn't a good offstage. Like, no. Just trading with Cyclone in really bad spots. I like, luckily that time he saved his gem, so he didn't just fly out and die for it. But still. Oh, he's running into all the neutral airs. Elegant's turning into ridiculous combo strings. Wow. Up be right in his face. No respect. Okay, good forward air bounce fish trying to weigh out the recovery again. Nice, catch the cyclone with the back air. Okay. That's not safe on shields, but can they really get a punish? Really blocking into some smart places now. Okay. Nice, reads the roll with the down tilt. And I doing a really good job at. Oh man, that down smash was really scary for me. Like, I can't believe that vanish worked, honestly. Try to weigh out the air dodge. Ooh. Oh, wow. Super deep vanish from K9. That was crazy, actually. 
Vanish, uh, I've noticed K9 actually like uses Vanish very efficiently, especially because he angles it, uh, you know, at like, at a, he uses it at an angle so when he lands on the stage, he can land with basically no lag. Yeah. Um, it's and you can get both too. hits too. It's crazy too that he goes with Vanish so much because the hitbox on Vanish is actually nerfed. It's like much smaller than it used to be. Yeah. But he still goes for like Vanish kills like off stage consistently. Like, this is super risky to go for, but it makes it work sometimes. Yeah, the key word being sometimes. Already K9 sitting at 94%. I mean, yeah. the, the match is not even 20 seconds in. Dude, he just traded with Nair. Like, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. I didn't think that was going to kill. Oh my god. Yikes. So, I, I don't know. K9 just loves to box Luigi with a character that, like, doesn't win trades in this matchup. Yeah. And, like, when you see that happen, it's just like Lisa Stein's like what you just saw, where he just takes a ridiculous amount of damage just from trades alone, and then he'll just die incredibly early. Again, he's just, I know he wants to make up, like, this stock, but he's just running into Elliot's hitboxes pretty much. This is already kill percent, with, like, all the damage being from trades. Okay, just catch the. Oh, uh, he wasn't positioned to get that bounce fish on the side view. Elegant still sitting pretty right now. Wow, what's blocks in his face? Down smash, still not gonna be the stock. Yeah. Wow. This man just walked forward, charged the up smash, saying. You're probably gonna roll in this situation. If you don't roll, I have a stock, so whatever pressure you get isn't gonna really mean that much. I wish K9 would play right now the way he was playing against uh, Nico that last game of the set. Yeah, it's actually exactly like the reason why he beat Nico is exactly why he would be beating Elegant. Like, exactly. Really not forcing trade situations, just waiting out the hitboxes and getting the hits that matter. And focusing on the edge guards, like, I don't know why. You know, it's just like, he's running in Elliot's face pretty much. He complained about it himself. I mean, like, oh, you're just pressing buttons. But then if you know that, then why yeah. are you running into those buttons? <laughs> exactly. Like, the, the thing is, Luigi's combo game makes up for the fact that his neutral isn't actually the best. And Chief neutral is way better than uh, Luigi's. Like, he definitely needs to abuse the fact that he has an amazing projectile. Okay, but K9 going off a little bit right now. All right, catches the vulnerability with the down up ledge. Uh, that's going to be the first trade that he gets, but it's actually not too bad for him because he does get to control the stage for a certain period of time. Uh, no need no bouncy fish. Oh, bad trade again for K9. Going for the misfire. Elegant is definitely like not afraid to go for that, honestly. Oh, okay. nice. Finally, K9 looking alive. I think this is the first lead he's had all set. Yeah, I just, just would love to see if he's using the needles like he's been using them just to trap Elegant's enemies. Nice, anti-air up tilt. I think that'll actually help him out too. If he uh, positions the up to right outside of the range of where Elgin was to draw to hit on, because you can juggle him effectively without risking trading. And Elgin, okay, he, uh, we'll take that. I don't know when he like messed up his match and used the jump there, but we'll take it. Yeah, I mean it's gonna put K9 into position to potentially reset the bracket, especially if Elegant like plays the way he just did. Yeah. Game five. Uh, Mr. Watch. No. no, he won't. Mr. He won't. Kamen he Watch. might. Yeah, he's doing it. All right, so Elegant's a a strange one, man. So uh, Elegant's beaten K9 with this character before in the past. I believe he's also beat Void with yeah, this character he's in the past. Void with Game Watch too. And when he does One, things like this, it's because go. he feels that his Luigi actually is being downloaded. Yeah. So he wants to kind of throw a uh, curveball. With a you know a different character, you see him throw him off. And it, I mean, he's beaten K9 with this character before in the past, so it's not like too bad for him if he can just like share witness. It's not a real possibility. 
But, uh, I don't know. It, do, it does work out for him, the strategy in the past, because, I mean, he, like, a FPF, he felt like his Luigi was getting downloaded by uh, Charlie's Fox, and then he went Villager, and he ended up winning. Yeah. Right. yeah I well, would say his Game & Watch is better than his Villager. Yeah, so. no, I, I agree, I agree. Yeah, and uh, Sheik's, like, weight range actually is really far for uh, the down throw up there. Like, even around, like, 80%, you can still just fly out connect and you can die. And there's a lot of things that Game & Watch has in this matchup that kind of, like, secretly make it, like, not so bad for Game & Watch. No. Basically, the way that uh, Sheik really capitalizes this matchup is actually playing really defensively. Mm -hmm. uh, like, just abusing the needles and not, you know, running directly into moves like that. Yeah, he almost died there to that up smash. Okay, he's gonna go for the down throw, so he can get a chase. Oh my goodness. That was a super risky vanish. Luckily, he doesn't die for it. Very patient play from K9. Not giving K Elegant any air dodge punches. Oh, but wasn't ready for that down air. I was gonna get off the ledge here. Oh, he runs right into wow. the F smash. Not even the sweet spot. All right, with only 85% on Elegant, he actually might. I mean, this is a really good position to be in. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna go for another fourth throw. Uh, don't know if I heard that bouncing fish. Wow, he's not able to get the main throw here on Elegant, even though he's getting a lot of air dodge. 28% is actually pretty bad to be in. Still at the range where you can just flat out get some uh, throw follow-ups, like maybe like down throw a uh, feature layer or up there. And there's always the threat of the nine hammer as well. Oh yeah, Elgin definitely isn't scared to go for that at all. Another opportunity here, 45%. Looking scary. Wow. Definitely gonna be looking for that down throw up there really soon. Oh my goodness. Oh. That did so much shield damage. Ah. It was only three. <laughs> Yeah, I think that up there, I think the other smash would actually kill. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially with Elegant sitting in well past him. the max rage. Dash attack's still not gonna kill him either. Let's jump. We're in for opportunity here. Wow, that was actually a perfectly spaced back here yeah. to get the sweet spot. Beating out Elegant's downer attempts. I feel like he can down throw nine. Yeah, good. All right, forward air swings to the neutral area. He's gonna try to get the stage, but not dodge that down tilt. That's actually very scary to be in. The down throw up air is very close to killing right now. Oh, pivot grab. He's gonna go for it. Oh my goodness, barely living. K9 playing for his life right now. Inches away from dying here. Oh, oh my goodness. god. <laughs> that was such a scary trap. Using the, the bacon just to cover his landing. Oh, Tech Chase Force Mask. Can I stay alive? Just barely. He has the needles all racked up. Okay. We're gonna go for the four though. Elegant DI is in, but you know, isn't able to get a follow up. Last hit of the. Yeah, wow. Last hit it. of the needle in the Bouncing Fish. That'll do it. Rage Bouncing Fish killing really early there. And can I get the reset? Yeah, a second chance here to actually take the tournament. Gonna go back to oh oh. Ooh. Oh man, Elgin's planning to work. It was actually looking really solid. Like the the game and watch pick yeah. was actually it, really close it, to working. It, it, I thought it was going to work if it wasn't for that last play from K9. But you know. It's like you said, he felt like he was getting his Luigi downloaded. Yeah. And it did serve the purpose of, you know, re the gameplay in that sense. Yeah. It could backfire though. Like, yep. like can I could actually feel like a lot of momentum here? Yeah. Just be like, okay, I actually playing really well. So I'm, I'm confident in fighting the Luigi regardless. We'll see. Oh my god, that shields. Forward air and air did too much shield damage. Okay. Really good strings here, I like it. Weighing out the landing and getting a pivot. F smash. And weigh out the air dodge. Nice. Getting a really good jab out of shield here. Whoa, late second. Oh, last second, there is gonna catch uh, Elgin's grab. That was really strong. 
Wow, it, yeah. that killed super early. Forward tilt into up air. I don't know if I can even DI that. Like, I'm gonna DI, DI straight up. Yeah, I think. I think he might have. We'll take it. Again, can I get the first stock? Establishing a lot of pressure here. A really strong up. Really strong reset. I like that he was taking the guaranteed damage and resetting neutral instead of just like overextending. Like, that's what he was doing earlier, and he was getting really uh, blown back by, you know, Elegant for doing that. Okay. Let's see what we can get off stage to play. Oh, that was a really good oh, uh, vanish. Like, yeah. went right under the ledge just to avoid all that cycle. Wow, that position was crazy. Barely survives that back air. Can I will make it back to the stage? He's gonna have to fight his way out of the corner. Last second back air to be off the up smash? Dude, Kana is just like weaving in and out of Elegant's approaches right here. Uh, nope. Not gonna oh, die yeah. from the center stage. I wanna say if he goes for an up throw around this range, it should be enough. And he just jumps past the up smash barely. Like, Kana is like doing some iffy house, like barely outside range of Elegant's hitboxes. And he gets the DI in on the tech. Ooh, that's actually a good trade for K9. Yeah. I'll take that advantage trade all day. Good catch with that down smash, too. Um, 75%. Looking pretty good, oh. especially the way K9's playing right now. Yeah. Um, you can't take too many trades, though, because it doesn't take much. Nice. He does a double jab. And it, he's ready for the drop zone, uh, or the drop air, so he just gets a perfect shield. Oh, that's so in the way for the air dodge, no. But gets another reset opportunity into the air dodge read up, air, up there again. Really smart play right now for K9. Okay, we're gonna get the opportunity though. Huge! Oh, oh my on. god, dude! Yeah. What? Oh, Lord Almighty. <laughs> that was crazy! I'm pretty sure that was guaranteed. Like the, the fast fall weak there. It's a LB, I think that was good. You know, I'm not sure, but it was definitely like, I mean, Ellingen got it, so it doesn't even matter. Well, well, was, I'm just like a little bit upset. Dude, he was playing so well. The K9 was winning. And you know, you mentioned how he was trading a little bit too much in the previous set. That entire game, he only took like a, like a handful of trades. Yeah. Which and was the, making the difference. Yeah, and then the one time he did, Elgin turned into a death combo. That's yeah. insane. That, that's Luigi for you, dude. All right. I hope uh, Ken doesn't go too on tilt from that, that game there, because he was playing incredibly well. And he's still got a few more games here. Just got to maintain composure. Oh, nice. Empty out. Dude, go for it. Wow. He barely avoided that side, bro. Whoa, I actually don't know if that was an intentional vanish or not, but we'll take it. Great bouncing fish. Uh, that's like one of the best options you can do against the side B. Like once he starts charging that move, he's pretty much a sitting duck for the bouncing fish. And again, Kana's gonna get the first stock. Let's see how far he can push it this time. Ooh, nice episodes. Catch the jumps. He's actually not letting Elegant leave this ledge right now. Again, gets the forward air string, just forcing him off the stage. But not able to continue the F2. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, a bit of an overextension from K9 there. Oh, no way. Great DI and tech there. That was amazing. All right, jab him out to the corner. Kana's just going to bounce the fish over that, but no tech. Wow, Elliot's all over him right now. Okay. Good position here. Oh, that would have been such a good tech chase on that grab. All right, catch the arrows with the bouncing fish. Can't looking for another one. Nope, not able to punish that cyclone, but really good patience. Knowing that Elegant will just throw on that cyclone to catch any type of overextension on stage. Ooh, tipper down tilt, but goes yeah. for the vanish instead of uh, the up air. Nice. Wow, again, that DI yeah. on up fair has been really questionable from Elegant, but we'll take it. Four throw and then chase him down to the immediate up there. It's a clean stock from the from K9. Yeah, I really like the way K9 is playing right now. It's so like night and day from the first set. He yeah. is uh, really like, in, instead of pressing forward, like you mentioned earlier, he's you can see where he's getting his hits. 
and he, he knows he needs to like fade away. Yeah, that's what you want to do with Sheik. If you're, if you're going to play without using heals that much, that's like the best way to approach this match. Just take the guaranteed hits and again just retreat to neutral because Sheik's neutral is much better. But Elegant, I want to say like 9 times out of 10, whenever he gets a Dreamland counter pick, he ends up winning. Like this is like the best counter pick so far. That trade there with that board air. 105% already. This is already kill percent. Ooh. That was so clean. Double jab, power shield, max range, down tilt. Yep, he's just popping elegant to the air and then waiting out the falling nares. Oh my wow, goodness. What a great catch. Yo, he baited out that air dodge so hard. Oh, and then Elegant gets just immediately up smash. Wait for the up smash. Wait, uh, wait for Cannon to jump in his immediately reactionary up smash. Uh, she was going right back and forth here. Oh, that's a lot of shield pressure on Canine, but see what you can do here. Big damage. All right, Warrior sings again. There's that fade back. Yep. He knew that Elgin had enough time to just draw out an aerial. Nice catches. He's just weighing out all these uh, falling airs from Elgin. He's getting a lot of free hits. Another MP hop grab. Nice double jab into the down tilt. Oh, this off stage though. Can I still hold on to all the needles? I'm not sure what he's uh, planning to do with them. Why are you taking it for like a needle bounce yeah. fish? Especially since, you know, when Luigi's off stage, he has to. Wow, yeah, that was so good. Yeah. He just walked away from the ledge, waited for the roll, and uh, punished it with Eto immediately into the up air. K9 going up in the set on Elegant's counter pick, beating him on Dreamland. Very few people can do that. Like, most of the time, like I said, like, when Elegant gets that counter pick, he just gets a free win, but. Can I bring this all the way back? Finally, has the counter pick advantage, and this might so be this it. Is, this is a this re really, really, really good position for uh, K9 to be in, like you yeah. said, with the counter pick advantage. <laughs> yeah, it goes uh, back to Dreamland. All right, this is. Uh, I want to say this is like, like best stage for him personally. It's interesting that you know K9 ended up. So this, uh, I don't know, this might be Kana's like final opportunity, or finally an opportunity for Kana to take a, a tournament win over Elegant. It's been a really, really long time. But of course you can never count out this man. Punish game with the Ouija's, some of the best. And honestly, I thought he was gonna get upbeat right there for missing that bouncing fish to the ground. Okay. Nice. Waiting out the air dodge with the bouncing fish. That's another opportunity. Yes. Waits out the air dodge again into the bouncing fish. That, that's a bad die. trade. That and he's going to get sucks. the misfire too. But he's going to die. Right. Okay, okay. Right. That's still a bad trade though. Yeah, it's uh, terrible. Trading a stock for a stock. Especially since he was at such low percent. But. Could have been worse, like yeah. you said. You know, Elegant could have survived, but he did not. Alright. Can going to get that free 29%. Oh, here you go again, forward air chains. Damage? No, does it get the counter spike? Oh but wow, he turns it into huge damage regardless. Oh my goodness. Back on stage. And I guess the ledge jump. Nice air dodge past that cycle. Wow, Dragon, Dragon up air into the core tilt. That's really crazy. He's gonna wait out the cycle and again. Very smart play from Khan. Oh, that's not a good trade though. Going back and forth. That was a really good bouncing fish. This could be the opening he needs. Oh, chasing the landing. Nice tech chase. Back off stage. Oh, catch the neutral get up. This might be enough. That's it, yeah. And that's it. K9 takes it. 3 1 with the super run back from Reaver's Bracket. He's so happy to be he, he, he is. He is super pumped. I'm